Yo, have I got a video for you today? And this time it's uh, regarding the PCI Express version 2 times 16 slot versus the version 3 and whether it causes a bottleneck on your graphics cards if you're running an older um, computer such as that I've got an old Dell Optiplex that I've tested it on um, and I'll be honest if you want to save some time it is inconclusive so I can't give you a definite answer if you want to stop the video now on the other hand if you want to see what I've found out uh, what I can say is testing an i5 Haswell with that slot and a GTX 1070 um, once you start overclocking the GTX 1070 there is a definite bottleneck um, so you know I would say that if you're running them two items in your system it's no point going sort of a more powerful card than a GTX 1070 that's about your limit um, I've got a Lenovo Think Center coming with a Haswell uh, set up that's supposedly got a PCIe Express 3 um, slot in it so I might well drop everything in that so it's near as damn it exactly the same system and redo the tests if it has got that it was only £45 so cheap enough to play with and try and I've also got uh, an i7 as well to see if I can change the CPU if that makes any difference if, if it was in fact not the PCI Express slot so I've got a few things to play with I've got a ROG motherboard as well that will take all the kit so but they, these are my initial findings anyway so there's the spoiler uh, what I did to test was uh, being a bit of an X overclocker where are we I went to a program called Unigine Heaven and I used the I can't remember, the DX11 setting on it because that used to be my sort of go-to for sort of my first graphics card benches because normally you could see you could always push your cards and everything a little bit higher on that than you could the others and I got a score of 3977 um, <clears throat> as you can see there the cut the settings are all standard to the card although that is an overclock card I didn't realize that I mean I've just bought it and used it and I didn't took any notice but yeah I think it is quite a bit sort of especially on the memory overclocked from what a reference card is so you got 3977 and then I pushed it as high as I could before if I went any higher it would literally start you'd get lower scores and things and I ran it two or three times just to make sure and yeah basically I could have probably tweaked it a little bit higher but I mean that's about the highest I could get on the core clock I didn't push the memory too hard because like I say that's a lot higher than standard and normally you start pushing memory too high and you'll start getting artifacts on the screen you'll start getting crashes and if I'm not going for for benchmark points in the league then I can't be bothered to do all that so plus it's not going to be um, stable when you come to play games with it either so it's pointless so yeah you can see 4087 was well, that's roughly about a two percent or so increase I got and then literally I couldn't push it no further without you know and get any more points so then I went to uh, fire strike so standard it's just the normal fire strike benchmark 11,879 11, uh, the links up the top there if you want to check it I'll post it in the description as well and I haven't got the browser open for the other one so I've got a picture um, oh no that's wrong wrong one where is it fire strike I can't see it there right near it right so yeah I got 12 6 8 5 so what's that it's about six and a half percent no, I don't know why it's done that that's about a six and a half percent increase um, <coughs> increase in performance and I would guess from my experience of overclocking before that normally if you can't push it any higher in that heaven benchmark you're not usually going to be able to push any higher in fire strike either I could be wrong but 
you know, at the end of the day, if you're playing games, well, it's no good having it set up so it works in one game and then as soon as you stick something else on, it don't work anymore. So that's about as high as you're probably going to get where it's going to be reliable to do everything you want to do. And as I say, I can confirm there is a benchmark there. Oh, sorry, a bottleneck there. But whether the bottleneck is to, due to that PCI Express 2.0 port <coughs> or is to do with just the Had Haswell platform in general, because it's still on DDR3 and it's not very fast DDR3 in there, or whether it is just that, you know, the, the processor itself just isn't fast enough and it needs an i7, I don't know. But I've got an i7 to play with. I've got other motherboards. I've got a, another computer coming as well. So... In the future, I'll uh, do some more testing and hopefully give you a bit of a conclusion. Thank you very much for watching. If you find it useful, please like and subscribe. And I'll keep putting hardware info up as well as showing what games play like on different things. And if there's any suggestions as to anything you want to see, you know, even if I don't do it straight away, it might be something I'll look at in the future. So feel free to put something down. Thank you.